43. If Earth was a ball, there are several flights in the southern hemisphere which would have their quickest, straightest path over the Antarctic continent, such as Santiago, Chile, to Sydney, Australia. Instead of taking the shortest, quickest route in a straight line over Antarctica, all such flights detour all manner of directions away from Antarctica, instead claiming the temperature is too cold for airplane travel. Considering the fact that there are plenty of flights to, from, and over Antarctica, and NASA claims to have technology keeping them in conditions both far colder and far hotter than any experienced on Earth, such an excuse is clearly just an excuse, and these flights aren't made because they are impossible. 44. If Earth was a ball, and Antarctica was too cold to fly over, the only logical way to fly from Sydney to Santiago would be a straight shot over the Pacific, staying in the southern hemisphere the entire way. Refueling could be done in New Zealand or other southern hemisphere destinations along the way, if absolutely necessary. In actual fact, however, Santiago to Sydney flights go into the northern hemisphere, making stopovers at LAX and other North American airports before continuing back down to the southern hemisphere. Such ridiculously wayward detours make no sense on the globe, but make perfect sense and form nearly straight lines when shown on a flat earth map. 45. On a ball earth, Johannesburg, South Africa to Perth, Australia should be a straight shot over the Indian Ocean, with convenient refueling possibilities on Mauritius or Madagascar. In actual practice, however, most Johannesburg to Perth flights curiously stop over either in Dubai, Hong Kong, or Malaysia, all of which make no sense on the ball, but are completely understandable when mapped on a flat earth. 46. On a ball earth, Cape Town, South Africa to Buenos Aires, Argentina should be a straight shot over the Atlantic following the same line of latitude across. But instead, every flight goes to connecting locations in the northern hemisphere first, stopping over anywhere from London to Turkey to Dubai. Once again, these make absolutely no sense on the globe, but are completely understandable options when mapped on a flat earth. 47. On a ball earth, Johannesburg, South Africa to Sao Paulo, Brazil should be a quick straight shot along the 25th southern latitude, but instead, nearly every flight makes a refueling stop at the 50th degree north latitude in London first. The only reason such a ridiculous stopover works in reality is because the earth is flat. 48. On a ball earth, Santiago, Chile to Johannesburg, South Africa should be an easy flight all taking place below the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere. Yet every listed flight makes a curious refueling stop in Senegal near the Tropic of Cancer in the North Hemisphere first. When mapped on a flat earth, the reason why is clear to see, however. Senegal is actually directly in a straight line path halfway between the two.